Oh wow. Hi guys, got another 3D printed wind up car to assemble. Printed it with my silver filament, which does have a tendency to be a bit brittle, so we'll find out if it works. This one is designed by Brico 3D or Brico 3D 2016. It's on Thingiverse 1848663. If you want to look it up, there will be a link in the video description. Uh, it's a car that actually looks like a car when it's assembled. Might have to trim some of these bits to get them to fit. Let's try that one in there. Yeah, I need to trim the edge off where it's spread a little bit printing and it's printed that way up the bottom edge is a bit thicker so that needs trimming We've got wheels these ones need those o-rings for the tires looks like that's going to fit in there all right that end looks a bit thicker so i have to sand that down a bit I don't remember which way I printed them. I think I printed them that way up. Yes, must have done. There's all the layers there. So these will probably snap if you put any twist on them. And that one goes in there. I'll have to look it up in a minute to remember how it goes together properly. Yeah, I need to trim all these in the middle here. I explain it nearly every one of these 3D prints that you get a bit of spread at the ground level. You have to clean out. one I printed with a support layer on it, so I printed it that way so it's stronger that way and shouldn't, shouldn't snap quite so easily. We'll find out when we try and get the support off. Oh, I can see the bottom tooth looks awful. Oh, but that's not a tooth, that's the handle for winding it up. Right, is that going to snap there nicely? Yeah, that's come off nicely. That was daring doing that on camera. Right, because that one... Which one? I will have to go and have a look at the instructions. That's the ratchet that goes in there. Right, I'm going to have to... File that down a little bit to make it fit nicely. That goes in there. Okay. And spring. Yeah, I do need to file that a little bit to make it fit. That's quite a lightweight spring there. It's also stuck just there. There we go. So there's a bit of trimming up to do. A fair bit of trimming up to do. I think we get the general idea. Uh, that's not right. That's the one that goes on there. It 
I have to trim that a little bit. Yeah, a fair bit of trimming to do. Oh, dropped them on the floor anyway. Right, I'll do some trimming so you don't have to sit and watch me do that. Right, I've trimmed all the bits so they should go to bed together. As you could see, that piece now fits in on both sides. I want to be careful because it will split, I expect, along the lines if I try and pull it apart. So, I think that piece is going to go in there. That piece is going to go over there, and that piece, I thought I cleaned them all out, I missed that bit. Oh. Right, bear with me a second, I didn't clean, you can see that's a bit messy there, how did I miss that? Rude words. Very easy with these needle files or rat tails is to stick them straight into your hand because they are sharp and I have done that on many occasions. Oops, still not clear. Right, that one's clear. That one will fit in there. So, back to where we were. That one's going to fit over there. That one's going to fit in there. Yes. Then, what do I do with that? Yeah, that one and that one are going to go... Oh, which way round does it go? That way. We'll find out in a minute. That's gone on there, all right. So when you wind it up. Let's go in the right way. Then one of these is going to go on there. Yeah. And then one of them. And then one of them. Because we're well geared down here. That one's going to go through there. It's going to line up with one of them, which apparently you can adjust, which is what I think. Hang on, there should be a tube somewhere. Where's that gone? Oh, come on, Grandad. Huh. What have I done there? Gosh, panic. All right, that's going to go on there because that's to align that, I believe. Yeah. And 
that's going to sit over there. Looks like we ought to add some spacers in there somewhere. Is that going to go? Does it make any difference? Oh, it does make a difference if it's the wrong way around. That digs into the wheels, uh, into the cogs, gears. What's the difference between a cog and a gear? Hmm? that out. Oh, this, all these bits I thought I'd done everything. Right, bear with me a second. That one's okay. It's... Right, okay, well we haven't, haven't got the rubber tyres on. And something's not lining up there very well. Why are they not lining up very well? Do a little bit of trimming, I think. Those teeth just don't want to line up at the moment. Well, I'm looking at this and I think I've put the spring on in the wrong direction. Because if I wind it up in the direction that it's going to drive, which is the wrong direction, the spring is tightening up. So I've got this wrong. Have I started from the wrong side? Should it all be the opposite way round? If it was all the opposite way round, then the wheels would go the other way. Definitely some of these teeth are binding. What I haven't done is cleaned in between each tooth, which I did on the previous car. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do it on this one. But it looks to me like I've got to take it apart and clean between every tooth because they're 
binding together at the moment. Jamming. Yeah, I'm turning that that way. And the wheel, back wheel is turning in the direction it would be moving forwards, the car would be moving forwards, but the spring is tightening up when I'm doing it that way. I'll have to go and look at the video again because I think I've put it all in backwards. So the car is going, would go backwards, but it's actually trying to go forwards. Right, we'll be back in a little while. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.